Yo, what's up? This is Marcy. Coming to you from the C spot over here, 4019 George Street. Wanted to take a shot. This is the second in a series that I call my Exodus, Marcy Exodus. And so basically, what I'm doing is documenting my transition from my first home. This is my first home. First nice four acres of property. Nice, big yard. They said two big trees, three big trees right there that they fell. My only neighbor, y'all. And, you know, again, this is the front of the house. So this is my first property. I bought it like five years ago. And I've been out here basically living exclusively what I call the sea spot. So, in this documentary that I call More of Sea, my uh, exodus, I'm actually exiting out of this and transitioning into another property. One that uh, embodies a totally different lifestyle. High-rise apartment, condo, uh, back in the city. And with me being native to the city, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. It's my first time actually moving downtown. So I'm a little excited about that. I'm about, about that, you know. Uh, right central. So it's going to be a good thing. So in this journey, in this documentary, what I'm doing is basically capturing, you know, all aspects of the property so that I can look back on it and, you know, really revel in my uh, progress. I'm about to go head out the house. Uh, this is me in the process of uh, moving out, taking stuff down. You can see, I still haven't taken my bikes down yet, but they'll come down soon. I decide if I want to keep that stuff here or take it with me or give it away. Um, a lot of junk here I, I definitely won't need in the uh, where I'm going, you know. So I may just leave this stuff here, man, and uh, throw up a sign up front for anybody that wants to come down and get it because I sure as hell ain't going to try to have a garage sale. So, again, this is the uh, exterior of the property. I'm going to take a little walk. Uh, earlier this year, I did a video. Or no, maybe it was last year when we had the snowstorm. And I, I, I covered how the entire property was basically covered. Stuck in the house for like four or five days, man. I couldn't go anywhere. It was crazy. So it was just so funny. You look at it now. I mean, this is a beautiful, this is a beautiful property. For someone like me, uh, it's a lot, it's a bit much. This is something that ideally, if you've got a family, yeah, this would be uh, perfect for you. Um, kids can have ample space to walk around and, you know, pretty much just cut a food and not have to deal with the riffraff uh, that may be uh, learning in the, in the neighborhood. So... That's why I chose the property initially. Back then, five years ago, uh, I definitely had no thought or even inkling of trying to move into the city, let alone move into a high-rise unit or a condo in the city, because personally, at that time, I think I just didn't want to be around people. So now, having gotten a little older, I'm 42, uh, I realized that really, it's not even about that anymore. I just want to start embracing life a lot more you know I work a lot and uh, honestly that's just getting old so I'm just trying to prepare myself set myself up in the lifestyle that I know I want therefore if I get the opportunity if I'm blessed with the opportunity to uh, continue to see my dreams come to fruition then I see myself living more in a high-rise type uh, maybe buy me buy my next house um, will probably be a condo two-bedroom condo I'm moving into a one-bedroom so that's what's so funny. I'm moving out of this, which has three bedrooms on the main floor, totally unfinished downstairs basement that I can put one, two, three, four more beds in. So that's like a seven unit, you know what I'm saying? Seven bedrooms if I really want to take advantage of it. And I'm scaling all the way down to a one bedroom. Seriously, just getting rid of all that shit I don't need, scaling everything down. I'm going to tear myself down to the bare minimum. Um, and then build myself back up from there. So in the first video, I talked about, you know, some of the steps that I've already taken to um, try to, you know, initiate the, to, to, to initiate the process, that teardown process. And so I'm basically at that level now. And once I transition out of here, I will be there fully uh, scaled down to the bare minimum. And from there, I pretty much just work my way back up to where 
you know, my financial situation is up to par. And then I have a lot more room to breathe. So, like I said, I'm looking to transition out of here and then transition to a place where I can hopefully uh, retire, uh, begin to uh, build wealth, and continue to generate revenue through my own efforts. And then, you know, uh, carry on the lifestyle that I feel like I'm so entitled. So, again, this is Marcy at the C Spot. This is the outside of the C Spot. And so, I'm going to definitely take a couple of pictures because you know what? Being out here for five years, I don't even have pictures of the damn house. That's that's just crazy. So, I'm definitely going to take a few more pictures. Oh, keep them from a photo album. And, uh, you know, this video may sound a little muffled, but I don't give a damn. So, you hear what I'm saying? So, and you see me living in this house. But that's so funny. Uh, when people come out here and they tell me, like, man, I don't see how you, I don't even see you living out here. So, once again, it's Marv C from the C Spot. I'm about to head out. I gotta give me something to eat. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. May shoot something from the inside of the house. Um, you know, just document as I continue to transition out. So, today's Saturday, July 28th. It's about 6 30. Uh, maybe after 7 o'clock, I'm sorry. And once again, this is Marv C. From the C-Spot, see you, bye.